you think our audience would like to have some theta healing? Do we have time? Uh, yes, we do. Uh, okay. Very short, a very short, just, to, yeah, I think it would be an interesting experience to do a. Okay. So if, you, if, if people were in a session with me, we usually do muscle testing to make sure we get the yeses and the noes so that you know that you have the limiting belief and you know the belief gets changed. So in Theta Healing, it is important that you have four basic beliefs in order to receive a healing. First of all, you need the belief that you want the instant healing, that you deserve an instant healing, that an instant healing is possible, and that you understand how Theta Healing can work for you. I know I've run them all together, mm -hmm. but what I do for people is I go up. So I'm going to drop into a theta brainwave, go up and co-create that everyone has those beliefs in place so that they will be able to accept the next changes we'll do real quickly. So just bear with me. Um, you may or may not feel the energy work. And people who are catching this on the recording, you are going to get the same benefit as everybody who's live because it's energy, it's not created or destroyed. It will be there for you. I just need you to say yes out loud to receive those beliefs. So just say yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. yes. <laughs> okay. When I do energy work, sometimes I look like I have ticks. Really, I'm not going to, into a seizure. That's just how the energy affects me. So the things we talked about a few minutes ago about worthiness, a lot of us have those blocks about being worthy. Um, it probably goes to a lot of things that are a lot deeper than that, but I would like to remove the belief that you are unworthy and what prevents you from feeling worthy, as well as the idea that it's too late for you to experience a change or healing in your life. And let's remove the obligation that you don't have time or money or resources to do a healing. Let's remove that, remove whatever prevents you from feeling that you have those things. Remove the uh, whatever prevents you from wanting and desiring a positive change in your life, as well as let's remove concern about what others would have judgment against you. I think that's one of those things people worry about. Well, if I'm start feeling better and I don't have the same circle of friends, what are they going to think of me? Well, what they think is really none of your business. So let's remove the obligation to accept others' judgments. So if you'd like all of those beliefs, just say yes. And I'm going to say, let's put in some forgiveness. So to forgive yourself for creating those beliefs in the first place or accepting them and forgive God, creator, your higher power, spirit, source, whatever your word is, just plug that in. And then let's also forgive any people that have had a hand in creating that. You just say yes out loud and you'll get these in the recording as well. Yes. yes. Okay. How does it feel, Christy? You know, it's so, that's so funny. I just had this wave my, of light, lightheadedness, and then like, a, like something lifted off my shoulders. That's how it felt for me. I know it, everybody's going to feel different. Um, that's how it, but the lightheadedness was like, woo, talk about woo. <laughs> <laughs> and those were just some tiny beliefs and it was very quick work, but yes. All of my clients, that's the most common. It's like, whoo, I feel lighter. I feel relieved. You know, I feel eager. So yeah, if if you're interested in just kind of learning some more before you commit, I do offer discovery calls as well. 